Yo, what is up guys and gals? I'm your host, Transaron38, and uh, we are taking a look at the brand new Transformers Cybertronian Villains Transformers from Transformers Cyberverse, the Quintesson Invasion. And uh, yeah, here is uh, uh, the Quintesson Invasion box set. Uh, you get the Quintesson, uh, Quintesson Judge here. Uh, basically the five faces darkness, right? Uh, spoiler alert here, uh, if you guys don't want to, uh, watch this video because you haven't watched season, uh, the, the new season with, of, uh, Transformers Cyberverse, definitely, uh, you might want to not watch this. <laughs> um, but, you were warned, you were warned. Uh, three, two, one, okay, you had a chance to leave. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this is the new Transformers Cyberverse Quintesson Invasion uh, box set. Uh, the Cybertronian villains on the top here. We'll get to the packaging here in a minute. Uh, but uh, you get you get the Quintesson Judge, which is the five faces of darkness, which is pretty cool. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> um, and you get Shockwave and Prowl here. Little uh, Transformer figures to go with this set because they are mind controlled. Uh, thinking that their war is over and they're they're in a uh, repeated stage of a parade over and over and over again uh either the Autobots or Decepticons but it's it's funny um like I said you can spin the uh push this down to spin to reveal the every head that the Quintesson got so um so yeah very cool little box set I'll just move these figures off to the side here um just want to show you the box itself. Um, just the box itself. I'm going to say you can see the Quintesson right there with Prow right there and the Cybertronian villains. You can see like the very, uh, like the core of uh, inside uh, uh, the headquarters of their, uh, where they're getting controlled. Um, so yeah. Not much you got the Decepticon logo there. I don't know why it has a Decepticon logo because, yeah. <laughs> so on the back side, you got the Quintesson Judge, and you can spin his, uh, spin their head around multiple times. And uh, you got Prowl and uh, Shockwave. They each come with uh, one of the mind control helmets, and uh, Shockwave transforms 13 steps, and Prowl in eight. Um, I do believe these are previous figures they've released in the line. I do believe I do I know I know for a fact Shockwave is for a fact I think um, like an older figure. But eh, again, what could you do, guys? What could you do? So, know what's going on? You got the nice little bot, uh, artwork on the side there, and then uh, over here you got Megatron, Starscream, and Shockwave over here. Uh, Quintesson Invasion it says on the back. So. So yeah, that is it for the box set, uh, box itself, and uh, you got the figures itself. Um, not much going on with this box set. Uh, it's pretty simple, um, but you get a nice uh, set of instructions here for the Quintesson Invasion Pack. Um, one side you got your instructions for Prowl, and then on the other side. You got your instructions for Shockwave. And then the little push button gimmick to change the heads on the Quintesson Judge. And uh, of course you get another legal paper thing uh, like Hasbro's been putting in all their stuff. But uh, so yeah, nothing much. First up, we're going to take a look at the Judge. Very cool. I like how the faces are very nicely painted. So I, I forget what each face uh, represents. Um, I can't remember. Um, this one here is Judgment, ain't it? Uh, I'm, I'm, I may be wrong, but, <laughs> uh, yeah. I say this is the original face I know for a fact, but these other faces look completely different to the G1 ones. Um, I had to get this because I don't have a Quintesson, and uh, I just wanted this pack. Um, but seeing how, how cheap this is, uh, I think I'm going to get the Earthrise Quintesson pack. Uh, but... Eh. Like I said though, you can just push this down to reveal all the heads. But there's one right head right there, very nice detail. The next head. And then this here is a goofball head. Here from the from in the show. I don't know for a fact that it's a goofball looking. Now this is the goof goofball one. Uh so 
So they, they they have silver. They do have some nice uh, molded detail to them. Um, but like I said, not not too much going on with the. You can actually you know, just keep on doing that with your heads, you know. <laughs> um, but anyway, uh, the little mini figures themselves uh, you get little uh, like almost like legend size scaled uh, figures. Um, you get Prow here with his mind control helmet on. You can uh, shockwave, and him has the same ones. They just post it on top. Up on top, you can remove this, but you can see nice, the nice molded detail they have on this, and their head just goes slip right over top of it. Prow here, very nice, revealing his nice silver face with the nice red, red for his uh, top of his head on his crown, which is awesome. So, be nice to get another one of these guys and make a custom smoke screen out of him. And somehow uh, sand down the, the light bars off of this, but uh, eh, it is what it is. And uh, oh, just thinking of that, the wheels do pop off on this prow a lot on me for some odd reason, but uh, nothing much going on. You got the Autobot logo right there, but uh, articulation wise, you got a ball jointed and a hinge here, transforming elbow joint, uh, nothing in the waist, um, ball jointed legs knee joint, do transformation, and that's it, um, for prow, and, uh, so to transform prow, what you want to do is, uh, unpeg this section here, bring it up, bring that down, and, uh, now, what you want to do is put his feet together, close it together, close the doors on the side here for prow, come on, there we go. There we go. Bring this section in on this side. Bring his arms down. Bring that in. And bring it down. So yeah. We got Prowl in his vehicle mode, his police car, which is cool. It's cool. I dig it. I dig it a lot. So size comparison. Uh, you can see how small he is compared to the Netflix side swipe. So Oh, there we go. Now you can see. Okay. And you can actually peg the, the mask on here if you want uh, for storage and vehicle mode. <laughs> so. So, yeah. So, there's Prowl in this vehicle mode. And there's Shockwave here. One of the previous figures you guys get before. I do believe uh, he's a complete, you get the same helmet here. And the menacing look of Shockwave and Septicon logo on the top. Um, I got the Cyberverse version of him, uh, the deluxe version of him, and uh, that shares about the same characteristics, but the transformation is completely different, and it's pretty cool. Um, his hose seat can get on on tab tab from him, which is pretty cool. To transform him, pull this section back all the way, bring his head back, rotate this whole section forward. Bend his legs backwards and around. Spin his fist around. And uh, the gun itself will post right here. And then rotate this around and peg this in. You can peg it in anywhere you want. That's where it shows in the instructions. And then you got shockwaves, tank, mode, thing. Um, like I said, though, the, this box set is pretty cool. I'm not spent. Uh, like I said, though, it's like it wasn't worth worth the money to get it. Whenever it was like thirty, I think it was thirty bucks. Um, but I got it on clearance for fifteen bucks there at Target the other week. And uh, yeah, I'm not I'm not too bad for waiting on it to get on clearance. So <laughs> very cool. Like I said, though, you can do what uh, you can have the mask on and off with a. With this uh, Quintesson Judge, uh, you can do whatever you want with these figures. Um, like I said, you can just keep doing this, this spinny, spinny gimmick with the Quintesson Judge. It's funny. Um, he does have a, oh yeah, I forgot, he does have ball jointed uh, tentacles. That's about it. Um, so, <laughs> nothing much going on with that. So, yeah, nothing much more I can say about this set. Uh, if you want to, bring Cliff Jumper in to show you how big these guys are. <laughs> um, 
So yeah, that's not not uh not my cup of tea for this box set, but I wanted a Quintesson set, but just messing with this just like uh and I'm like uh <laughs> So enough said ladies and gentlemen, that's my my thoughts on the new Transformer Cyberverse Cybertronian Villains Quintesson Invasion box set. So yeah, until next time ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys enjoyed this awesome Transformer Cyberverse review and uh yeah. Uh, like I said, though, uh, these figures do have some their their flaws, but like I said, though, uh, you can there's uh, ports on sides here, so you can actually do lots of stuff, um, lots of different things with the figures and versatile. So, yeah. So enough said. So until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I'm your host Transaren38 talking again. Don't forget to rate and subscribe, comment on any videos you can do, and keep a lookout for any new videos headed your way. And uh, until next time. I'm your host, Transair38, talking again. I'm out of here later, and peace <laughs> of all sentient beings until the Quintessons come. Look out. <laughs> later.